I want to show you how I enable pretty crystal clear recording audio quality. And that is by taking an audio in into the headphone jack of my personal laptop from my mixer. And that's really it. And it works right out of the box in Linux. Actually with Pop! OS, as soon as I plug in the mixer or the headphone jack audio, it asks if it's a recording device or a headphone device, which is really neat because this headphone jack serves multiple purposes. I recommend you try that out on your laptop as well because you might first think think at first that your machine just has a headphone output because that's the label on it. But a lot of times they can serve multiple functions. It's pretty handy. So I haven't been on this since the last video I made. So now I'm logged in and I'm going to check for some updates. just want to show you how easy the process is. I'm going to update everything on my computer. And should go pretty fast. I'm on, I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm not hardwired in like I am on my desktop, but you can see that it updates quite a bit of stuff quickly. And here's all the apps I installed last time. I know that they're, they're going to be at the latest version because, well, they're updated here in the app store or the pop shop, if you will. <laughs> so let's go look around on the internet, see if there's any cool other things we can install in pop OS. Because sometimes Somebody might talk about an app that um, I've never heard of, and maybe I want to try it. One example is what I'm using to record this screencast, and that's Simple Screen Recorder. Shout out to Thor, Linux Tips by Thor YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel. He posts almost daily, and I believe I've heard of this recording software through his channel because he, he creates a lot of Linux videos. I recommend you check them out. He uh, shows a lot of cool things like how to make web icons, you know, just what the new Linux distribution looks like. He does so many different distributions. I think he has over 350 videos or something. It's crazy. It's impressive. Let's go to startpage.com. After installing uh, Pop OS. So let's see. This is dated March 22. It's a pretty fresh article. So we're on 22, version 22. So let's go to this. I guess this is the latest one. Let's check it out. It's probably going to be a lot of the same stuff, like update your system and... Enable the maximize button. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> Time machine. Virtual box. That's cool. Um, I mean, there's there's more efficient virtual machine managers in Linux, in my opinion. I don't know if it's QEMU or just Vert Manager. Much more efficient than virtual box, in my opinion. Enable snap support. I don't care to do that. Um, you can theme your desktop with GNOME tweaks. I don't think I've done that in the last few years. So maybe we can explore some themes because Pop! OS is pretty simple, but it has some awesome web, uh, wallpapers. Here, I'll demonstrate that. So, yeah, even like the default ones, much cooler than something I'd come up with. Um, change background. Let's look around. There they are. Yeah, these are beautiful. There's some really cool looking wallpapers. And they change like so, they just fade in. They, I mean, look how great these look. These are cool. Like this planetary looking one. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, cool. Let's stick with this one for today. Uh, theme your desktop with GNOME tweaks. Okay. I think it might have been renamed to just tweaks. So maybe it'll say it's installed, but let's try it right now. Oh, I guess I don't have it installed. And as you can see, that took maybe one and a half seconds. So that is pretty awesome. So now it says I can search for tweaks. Now let's try it. There it is. Cool. So I did not have it installed. So now that I have that installed, here's something really cool. And this is like what shines with Pop! OS, in my opinion, is you click this little grouping of windows up here, and you click Tile Windows, and it tiles every window you have open just on the screen efficiently so you don't have to resize them, you know, spread them out side by side. It does it for you, and it's incredibly useful. I, I wish I could adopt this in all of my other Linux distributions that I try, like Linux Mint. But this is Pop, Pop! OS, man. The System76 team does this, and it's incredible. So now I could close this terminal, for instance, and then it's going to tile what I have open, which is two windows. And they're side by side, just like I would want. And the tweak tool, it says, can, uh, hosts a bunch of options to change the appearance and behavior of the GNOME shell alongside handy Pop! OS specific extensions. This includes the option for changing the default theme to a custom theme that you've downloaded from the internet. Ah, GNOME. Look, this website's been around for a long time. I used to go here and customize my desktop. 
back in the older versions of GNOME, I think. Um, so I just basically used to go look for the rating. I just look for the highest ones. And then, I mean, look at these icons. That looks pretty sweet. It reminds me of, oh gosh, what was it called? Not Endeavor OS, but the other Arch-based one. Any other Linux users will know what I'm talking about. But it basically has those neon-looking icons. Dragonized, Dragon, I think it's called Dragonized. This reminds me of that. Let's go check it out. Wow, that's pretty slick. Whoever designed that has some some chops. So I guess what you could do is go right, right here. You extract the tar file of the theme to the themes directory inside the home directory. Now you can op re, uh, open the tweaks tool and go to the appearance tab. Okay, let's see if they give me that type of file. Go to files here. We're going to go to, yep, there's the tar. I'm not sure if I have the browser plugin. I know you used to have to have the GNOME browser plugin. If that doesn't work, we'll just go download because we know that'll work. <laughs> Hit download. Go to the downloads folder. Save it. Hit our files application. Let's turn off tiling. It's easy to forget that you have tiling on. I do this constantly. So I uncheck tile windows. Now we can go back here and just check the instructions once more. It says to apply the theme, extract it to the user path themes inside the home directory. It's a hidden directory. So we're going to go here and if you hit control H while you're in this file explorer, it will show you the hidden directories. And if you're in the home directory, which I am, I don't see a themes directory. <laughs> so is there themes? Am I looking right at it? Let's try it. Let's try making a themes directory. We'll do dot themes. Okay. And we're going to go inside that directory. And then I'm going to right click on downloads folder and open in a new tab. So then I have this downloads folder and I'm going to extract here, delete the, the uh, tar file. And let's just double check, make sure there's no other zips in here. Looks good. Let's go back. We're going to copy this folder and we're going to paste it into this themes directory for icons extract to the tar. You know what? I could have done the icons directory and, but whatever, I get in the right. I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> new again to this, I guess you could say. So let's just cut this. Simple mistake. Go back. Was there an icons one? H I. I don't think so. So let's make an icons directory and double click, right click, paste. Okay. So we got an icons directory too, and and we'll keep the other one there just in case I do other tweaks. You can create yourself by using. Yep, I did that. Make sure to add a period because it's hidden. Period makes it hidden in Linux if you don't have hidden files showing. So if you go back, obviously, to the home directory, and I, again, press Control-H, it hides the directories that have the periods in front of it, which is really cool. It's a nice way to just keep things clean if you want to hide directories you don't normally go into. And now you can open the Tweaks tool and go to the Appearances tab. Let's try this. This is kind of exciting. Go to the Appearance, and now we got Icons. There they are, candy icons. That, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Come on. Could, the, could it be any easier than that? I swear it's harder to do it in Windows for myself. I, I'm always going to right-clicking on the desktop, going to appearance. This is really, really slick. I love this. So uh, there, I learned something new with you, and I'll share it and upload it to YouTube. Thanks for watching.